Well, hello everybody, this is uh, Alex with Matador Studio, and today I'm going to be making a f the first of, I hope, many videos of me working in Manga Studio and learning the program. Um, if you're not familiar with Manga Studio, it is a program that is specifically made for making comics, digital comics. Um, you can check it out at mangas.smithmicro.com uh, and then you can read all about it here. How to, you know, there's even some video tutorials on there um, on how to make comics So uh, with Manga Studio. Uh, so we'll get into some of this stuff later on, but um, like I said, I just bought the program not too long ago um, and I'm just starting to learn it. And one of the things that um, attracted me to Manga Studio was the fact that you can import um, 3D objects into it and, um, and that was one of the big selling points so as soon as I got it I started researching in uh, how to uh, actually do that because my first couple of attempts weren't successful and I think I figured out a way uh, to do it with SketchUp and I'm almost sure that I am going to be able to do it in, with that studio but that's uh, uh, another story uh, today I'm going to be um, working with Manga Studio and SketchUp, and uh, and basically I'm going to be importing a a uh, a three D object into Manga Studio. Um, uh, not sure if it's the right way to do it, but it's the way that I figured out how to do it. So if anyone knows of a better way to do it, by all means, uh, let me know. <laughs> um, but I'll show you what I came up with, and uh, and then we'll go from there. Um, this is a SketchUp here. Uh, this is a 3D object. Um, those of you familiar with SketchUp know what it's all about. Basically, you import 3D objects, or you can make your own. Um, I'll be importing. I don't think I'll be making any. But just a quick rundown here. If uh, let's say you need a car, you go to the 3D warehouse, get models. Um, takes you online, and you search what you want. In this case, I I, I uh, searched for a Harley and came up with this. Um, you download it and uh, open it up in SketchUp and um, what I do first is I select all you know because I read somewhere that uh, somebody selected all to do theirs so I decided you know maybe that's needed so I'm selecting all I think worst case scenario if it uh, no harm done right <laughs> so all right so once you do that um, once you got the model there selected um, I, what I did is I went to export a 3d model and uh, let me make a new folder here, folder number five. I'm going to call this, and I'm going to export it right into folder number five. But before I do that, um, this right here I think is important. I haven't really played with these, but this right here, these settings right here seem to work fine, so I'm keeping those. And you click OK, and uh, SketchUp will start exporting. Um, uh, the actual file there, so I'm going to pause it here because it may take a couple of minutes or seconds All right, so uh, uh, SketchUp has exported the uh, the file uh, all the files needed to make this and you get this little confirmation window showing you what was exported Click OK on that and then you go ahead and open up the folder um, the, You know, uh, this is what came out. This is what SketchUp made in this folder here you have a bunch of images and in this here you have the MTL file and OBJ file uh, what I do and what I found that works best is um, if you grab all these and copy them and put them into the root directory right then you select all the all the uh, the files except the folder where the, the images were in you right click and create a zip file All right, then we will go to Manga Studio and with Manga Studio open here we're gonna go ahead and uh, drag that uh, zip file that we just created and drag it right onto the stage and that may take a few minutes actually no it didn't it was pretty quickly done this time and as you can see the, the file is there that is a 3D object and in Manga Studio to uh, manipulate 3D objects you have to have this 3D object uh, tool selected here it's usually right under here somewhere um, you also have layer selection but I'm gonna go with 3D object that's what we need there 
Um, down here, there's a couple of more um, things you can do to the file. Like uh, this one, I think it's something that you might want to do. Object scale brings it down just a little bit, so it's not so huge. Um, then you select it, and this button here, I think, just centers it or something. Yeah, so it does that. You see this little um, circle here with the Y and Z axis, uh, X and Y axis. Um, you can actually manipulate the the file, the imported object, and you can turn it around. You can change the angle, and if you're doing comics or even animation, storyboards, and things like that, um, you know how valuable this can be. Um, so there you have it. Um, I'm not sure why this is up here like that. I still have some stuff to figure out, but uh, basically, it's you know, it's just, this is all you need. You know, um, I mean, what more do you want? You know, this is pretty much, um, you could turn it any angle you want and it's there for you, you know? So that's how you do it. Um, that's how I figured out how to do this. Um, also, I know there's a way, and I did it by accident before, but there's a way that you can save it into your materials folder so you can have it all there and just drag and drop it whenever you need it. I'm not sure what I did or how I did that. I'm not sure if I click one of these, uh, register images material, I think that's the one, but I am not sure. I probably come back to that in another video um, but yeah there you have it um, you can import just about anything here uh, tanks weapons uh, you know buildings cityscape you know cities uh, towns you know anything you may need for making comics and uh, again just awesome awesome uh, stuff by uh, manga studio here um, in future videos I hope to be making um, I'm gonna, I hope to make a video on, a couple of videos on uh, me make a, actually drawing a comic from the thumbnail stages, maybe maybe even from the uh, character designs and things like that, all the way down to completion. Um, show you guys a little bit of my process. Um, maybe, you know, get some feedback from you guys, some tips. Uh, we can share some, some tips if we have any, um, and uh, maybe some hangouts here and there, some live streaming going on. So yeah, we can have some fun with this. Um, uh, so there you have it. Uh, uh, thank you for all for watching, and uh, hopefully we will see each other again. Thanks. Bye.